I'm Adam. And I'm Acorn. And this is Where There's a Williams, There's a Way. Hey, Acorn. Is there anything that you look forward to each year at Christmas time? Have you ever tried hot sauce on your Christmas cookies? I like hot sauce, but I've never tried that. That's a spicy twist on a holiday treat. I usually stick to the classic sugar cookies with icing and sprinkles. But imagine the fiery festivity, the sizzle of the sauce blending with the sweetness of cookies. You might be onto something there, Acorn. It could be the most adventurous cookie experience yet. But I think I'll leave the hot sauce experimentation to you. Hey, do you think that Santa likes spicy cookies? Ha! Huh, I've never thought about Santa's spice tolerance, but maybe he's got a secret love for a bit of heat amidst all those cookies and milk. Who knows? Maybe you'll start a new trend in North Pole cuisine. That's the plan. In today's book, Christmas is coming, and Cat has a hunch he's not on Santa's nice list. But Cat knows what to do. Dress up as Santa! What better way to be sure that he gets a present? Let's get started. Here Comes Santa Cat by Deborah Underwood. Pictures by Claudia Rueda. Hey, Santa, have you seen Cat? Cat, I didn't even recognize you. Why are you dressed like Santa? So you can give yourself a present? Oh, Cat. Santa will bring you a present, won't he? No? Why not? Ah, I see your problem. But are you sure you want to be Santa? Santa has to climb down chimneys. Can you do that? Well, maybe you'll get the hang of it. But, Cat, Santa has magic reindeer. How will you fly? A jetpack? Do you even know how to use that whoosh? Ouch. Cat, this is silly. Besides, Santa doesn't give gifts to himself. He gives them to other people. Have you ever had to make a big change to get off the naughty list? I once decided to stop rolling in the mud puddles, and when I found out Santa doesn't appreciate a pig covered in mud, even if it's all in good fun, did you replace the mud with something else? I started a collection of hot sauces instead. Santa seems to approve of my spicy hobby. Guess I traded muddy hooves for fiery tastes. Santa's got a taste for the spicy, huh? Exactly. I guess everyone has their own way of getting off that list. What other changes have you made, Adam? Well, to avoid being on the list, I promised to stop assigning homework on weekends. Turns out, even elves need a break from work sometimes. You're basically the Santa of school spreading joy and no homework. Well, I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. Instead of being Santa, why don't you just try to be nice? You're worried it's too late? It's never too late. What's a nice thing you could do? Go Christmas caroling? Great! Yeah, oh, ow. Uh, cat? Maybe something else. You're going to give presents to children? That's wonderful! What happened? The children didn't want the presents? What were you giving them? Ah, any other ideas? Maybe ones that don't involve fish? Yes, it would be very nice if you helped decorate the tree on the town square. Good going, cat. Have fun. Hey, guess what? I tried to buy a gallon of hot sauce as the last minute Christmas gift, but ended up with a case of barbecue sauce instead. Well, that's hilarious. Well, speaking of mix-ups, I once tried to get a Santa costume for a Christmas party, but ended up with a reindeer onesie instead. Not exactly the jolly old fellow look I was going for. Hey, have you ever tried to rush and buy a bunch of candy canes, but ended up with a licorice stick instead? No, that seems like an oddly specific scenario. I assume that's happened to you. Maybe. But you know what they say. Sometimes these mix-up make the holidays even more memorable. Just imagine the laughs and surprises these gifts bring. 
That's the spirit. Embracing the unexpected adds a special touch to the holiday season. Wow. Okay. I'm sure Santa is glad you tried. I am too. In fact, I have a present for you myself. Two cans of your favorite fancy cat food. Well, my goodness, who's this? I wonder what that poor kitten wants, cat. Any ideas? Cat, do you realize what just happened? You did something nice. Hey, do you hear that? Look, it's Santa, and he does have a present for you. Wow, an official Santa's helper suit. Cat, where are you going? You have a present for Santa? Nice, Cat, very nice. You won't believe what happened. I tried to do something nice, but let's just say my motives were a bit saucy. What mischief did you get up to this time? Well, you know how much I adore hot sauce, right? Anyone that's talked to you for more than one minute knows that. I thought it'd be nice to share my love for it, so I left a bottle on Farmer John's porch, thinking, hey, maybe they'll invite me in for a spicy feast. Did it work out? Nope. As it turns out, Farmer John's allergic to spicy stuff. Imagine my embarrassment when he had a reaction. I felt terrible. Why did he eat it if he's allergic? I guess he didn't know already. He'd never eaten hot sauce before then? What kind of world is he living in? I know, right? All I know is next time I'll ask before leaving hot sauce surprise. If you want to do a good deed, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm Adam, and I'm Acorn, and this is Where There's a Williams, There's a Way. Did you know the origin of posters date back to the 16th century? They were used in the Netherlands in form of leaflets and when citizens rebelled against the Spanish occupation. Since then, they have become a common form of advertisement.